What's going on, Fantasy World? It's finally Thursday. You know what that means. It's time for my NFL six-pack, the six-pack that everybody wants to see, the one that everyone waits an entire week for. Let's jump right into things here in week four of the NFL. Let's start at the quarterback position with my favorite play on the board with Russell Wilson, 7,900 of the Seattle Seahawks. Okay, he finally had a breakout game last week. He put up 33 Fandle points against the Tennessee Titans, who have a decent defense. Today they are at home where the Seahawks always seem to roll against the Indianapolis Colts, who have the 30th-ranked pass defense. Russell Wilson is my favorite play on the board this week at just 7,900. Let's roll with him right there. Now let's roll over to running back position. Let's get some value here with my favorite player, Everyone knows I'm a diehard Bengals fan with Money Mixon. Joe Mixon, 5,600. Going to be a very, very popular play at this price. He had 21 touches last week for over 100 total yards with that new offensive coordinator, Bill Lazor, finally using him uh, as the feature back there. Jeremy Hill is just not an effective runner anymore. Gio Bernard is a situational running back. Bill Lazor comes from the school of Chip Kelly. He knows how to get his playmakers into space. Let's get Joe Mixon in there. At 5,600, going to be very, very popular against the Cleveland Browns, who are in the middle of the pack um, in defense, but at this price, it's going to be very, very popular. All right, now let's go over to wide receiver here. It's going to be a New York Giants wide receiver. And nope, it's not Odell Beckham Jr. We're going to save again here and get some value with Sterling Shepard, 6,100. Okay, this guy caught 7 of 10 targets last week for 133 yards and a touchdown. Going up against the Tampa Bay Bucks, who have the number one rush D in the NFL, and the Giants can't run can't run the ball anyway, so they're going to have to throw. Um, I think Sterling Shepard here is a very, very sneaky, good uh, value play here. It's a nice pivot off of ODB, which everyone is going to be on. They are 18th against the pass, but like I said, they're going to have to throw the ball because everyone knows the Giants can't run the ball whatsoever. I love me some Sterling Shepard at just 6,100. Okay, now let's uh, go over to tight end position here. Going to roll with the chalk this week uh, with Rob Gronkowski, 8,500, New England Patriots. Okay, we saved up at wide receiver and running back with those two value plays. And I also have another value play at wide receiver, which allows us to spend up here. Um, just the gap of points is so drastically huge here with, with tight end. Rob Gronkowski is so much better than the next best tight end that that difference is going to be huge there. As a, like With wide receiver, there's not much of a drop-off from the best player the second best and same thing at running back what so rob gronkowski i'm going to be locking in here at 8500 i see another 20 point performance as he put up uh in the last two weeks after that slow start there in week one now let's roll over to the other side of the ball in that same game with some more value here with wide receiver 5400 devin funtress of the carolina panthers Okay, now this guy, he's had two decent weeks. He's had four catches for 60 yards and four for 68. But um, against going up against the New England Patriots, they're going to be they're going to be down. They're going to be, need to be throwing the ball a lot around that field. Um, the Patriots have the 32nd ranked pass defense. No Greg Olson, Calvin Benjamin likely out. That's not this guy's not a great player, but he's a product of the environment. He's going to be the number one wide receiving target there for Cam Newton. It's just 5,400. Doesn't need to do much. I see he gets 70 to 80 yards. Maybe even gets you a touchdown in there at that price. I'm loving me some Devin Funches this week. Okay, guys. Now we had a bunch of value plays in there at 61, 56, 54. Spent the bit tight end at 85. Had a mid range quarterback play at 79. So we're going to spend up a little bit here in my beast of the week. At 8,500, running back Ezekiel Elliott of the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, now this guy had a great bounce back week on Monday Night Football against the tough Arizona Cardinals run D. This week he is at home where he excels with the best offensive line in football in front of him going up against the Los Angeles Chargers. At just 8,500 here, they have the uh, 29th ranked run defense. I think Zeke gets you over 100 yards. He gets in the end zone at least once, maybe twice. Ezekiel Elliott, far and away my favorite play on the board this week as my beast of the week. And that's all I got for you guys. Good luck.